Hey there, if you're using Notion to organize your tasks, then I have some exciting news for you. You've probably run into the issue already, Notion's different views are pretty great, but in particular the calendar view is unfortunately quite limited. All you get is a monthly view. So up until now, if you wanted to see your tasks in a weekly view, for example, you were out of luck. But uh, I found a super simple workaround and with that you can quickly add a week view to your task manager in Notion or any other database that uses date fields. Plus, it's super easy to implement and fully customizable, so you could use this method to create any other sort of calendar view tool, like see your next three days, the next two weeks, or even a complete, a complete year view in Notion. So in this video, I'll give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to set things up, and I will also show you how you could use this method to create a very minimal task manager in Notion. Plus, if you don't want to build this yourself, you can download a free template in the video description. And I've also added timestamps there, so feel free to jump to a specific section. And now, let's make Notion even better and build one of the missing features ourselves. Let's get a week and year view for the calendar. Okay, so we're going to start from scratch for this tutorial. So uh, on this new new and empty Notion page, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create an inline database for our um, yeah, <laughs> task list or whatever thing it is that we want to see as a weekly and yearly view. So we're going to type slash and then uh, database and we'll pick the inline option and this will, our, will be our minimal task manager, let's say. We have a name for the task and then of course uh, every task database uh, needs a done field. So we're going to get a quick checkbox for that one, super simple. And um, then we're going to pick a, a due date, so the date when we want to do the task and that we are also going to use for our view. So this is the very basic setup and now we can uh, add a few uh, sample tasks. So sample task A, sample task B and sample task C. Great. Um, now let's get to the method. So uh, as you know, in Notion itself, uh, the issue is if we have our regular calendar view, uh, the only thing that we uh, can see is this month view. We have no way to flip this to a different way, right? Um, but uh, with a Notion formula, we can trick Notion into doing what we want. Um, so if we think about for a moment uh, what it is that we want to achieve, uh, we want to see uh, our tasks sorted by days. So for example, um, because we can't do it through the calendar view, we would do it um, on a page. Uh, uh, we would build our calendar on, on a page. So we have like Monday, uh, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? Uh, and then we can get all of them, turn them into um, headings uh, and arrange them uh, a bit nicer. This is a big screen, so we uh, can easily fit three in a row. Da, 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 da. Quickly doing this. Columns are a great way to style your Notion templates. Um, perfect. Oops, this one doesn't feel uh, aligned on for whatever reason. Ah, it's because the Sunday doesn't have two things next to it. Uh, let's quickly do that. I don't know why it bumps it a little bit inside them, but uh, either way, now uh, everything is aligned. And if we uh, get like a um, divider, we also see that they all have the same size. Okay, so now we need to find a way to um, display uh, below each day only um, the respective tasks for that week. Uh, and to do that, we need um, to tell Notion two things, right? We need to tell Notion A that um, the task that we have is in our current week. And as a second thing, we need Notion uh, to uh, sort them into the days. And we can do that with two formula properties. So we're going to first create a formula called uh, day of the week. Um, this one is a very simple one. We're going to pick the formula property uh, and let's actually fill in some due dates here. This is Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay, back to the formula. Um, we, uh, through the uh, so-called uh, format date uh, formula, we can uh, take a date in Notion and uh, tell it, uh, okay, uh, how's the, in which way do we want to see it? 
Uh, and we can also say, uh, we can, for example, uh, do something like, okay, show me it in the format day, day, uh, month, month, year. Uh, right? Now we get it, uh, this date displayed like this. But another thing that we can do is we can simply uh, just uh, return the day. So if we have just day, then this will uh, show the, uh, the actual um, date, but just the, the first part. If we add another D, um, we get, I think, the date, uh, the exact day of the year. And for four, uh, oops, no, it's not four Ds, is it small Ds? Yes, it's for four small Ds, we get um, the uh, string uh, day of the week, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So that's the first part of the formula. And the second part is to identify, okay, is it the current week? Because if we just had this, then uh, all Mondays would be uh, here, right? And not just this week. So we need a second formula and we're going to call this this week, question mark. It's also a formula. And this one um, will check whether um, today is within the current week. And to do that, uh, we first need to figure out a way to um, return the current week, uh, which luckily is also fairly easily, fairly easy with the format uh, date formula. Um, so let's take actually the, the current timestamp that's now as a date input, and then uh, let's return this. I think it is uh, W. Yes, the W gives us um, the current uh, week of the year, so the calendar week, small w. Um, so now what we can do is we can check whether um, this week, uh, so like uh, whether uh, now uh, equals, and we need always two equals if we do a formula uh, in Notion, equals our um, due date. But we can't just put in the normal due date because um, A, uh, uh, once we use format date, uh, this is uh, now a string and this is a date property, so it's two different data types, and that means Notion can't compare them. But even if this was a string, uh, it wouldn't work because right now the way it looks is this, right? And July 4th is just not exactly the same as 28. So what we want to do is we want to uh, write another format date property uh, here, formula here, and just format, the, uh, format it the exact same way. And now it will check whether it is in this week. And to prove you that that works, as we're going to move this to a different week, and now it is no longer in this week, but it's still Monday. Uh, yeah, and that's basically all that we need uh, to create our week view in Notion. Now we can go ahead, go here, say create link view of database. Um, we're going to pick uh, our minimal task manager that we just created. We're going to pick a new empty view. It's going to be list. We're going to call it Monday. We're going to remove the title to make it cleaner. And now we set our filter. We're going to do an advanced filter because it's just, I prefer this interface. The first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that um, oops, uh, done is uh, unchecked because if something is uh, done, I don't want to see it in my task database anymore. And then I want to make sure that um, the day of the week contains Monday and then that um, this week is checked. So now this will only show me my tasks of uh, for Monday and I'm actually going to add also the, uh, oops, not the, that was the wrong one, sorry. I'm going to add, oh no, it was right, uh, the checkbox in so I can check them off directly here. So now if I uh, go back here and say, okay, this task is due on Monday, I have my task here and I can, if I want, I can check it off uh, and then it disappears here and uh, it comes back if I do this. And now all that we have to do is to um, duplicate this, drag it on a Tuesday, go to filter, change the filter here to Tuesday, and so on and so on and we will see all our sample tasks. Again, click on duplicate or command D, move it under the uh, corresponding thing. Uh, actually, we also need to rename uh, the view, obviously. Uh, go on filter, click on the rules, change contains to the thing you're currently filtering for and there you go. Now you can create uh, your view in Notion uh, perfectly and we'll always show you this week. Now I'm going to show you a second method to do this. Um, and this is in case you don't want to see it sorted by weekdays, but if you want to see it in a rolling way. So if you want to see it rolling like today, tomorrow, and so on and so on, uh, what you would do is you would, uh, instead of creating this day of the week field, you would create properties uh, to check whether a day is today, 
tomorrow, in two days, in three days, and so on. The way we can do this, I just show you uh, for like in two days, question mark. And it's going to be a formula. And we're going to start with the same uh, base as uh, we did for uh, as we did before. So we're going to format um, now, and we're going to format now as let's say um, um, day day oops, day day uh, month month year year. Cool. So now we have the first part. Now we have uh, our current date, right? Um, and we want to, uh, but we don't want now, we want in two days. So for that, we're going to uh, go in here and we're going to use the date add formula. The date add formula uh, lets us uh, add a time frame to the current, uh, to any specific day. So what we want to add to it is we want to add two days because we check that that's in two days, right? And then we need to specify that we are adding days to it, not something else. And now, as you can see, we have um, something in two days. And now we just need to check whether in two days equals uh, the due date. So we're going to add click with n format date, due date, uh, and then we're going to format this uh, in exactly the same way as the other one, so that the strings match. And now, as you can see, the one task that is done in two days um, is checked. So now what you could do is instead of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, etc., you could do something like today, tomorrow, uh, in two days, in three days, in four days, and then just with a similar setup, uh, use this uh, checkbox um, uh, filter to see and sort out your tasks. That's the second one. And the third one that I wanted to show you is how you can, can you do this to create your year view. So let's say uh, instead of this, we want to have the month. So we have January, February, March, April, uh, May, <laughs> and June. Let's just to do the first half of the year and not everything. Again, I'm going to turn them into headings and I'm going to um, arrange them nicely on the page. Oops, sorry for that. And the last one. And now, uh, you probably already know the trick. Uh, we're just going to, uh, instead of checking day of the week and this week, we're checking month and this year. So month will be, again, a very simple formula where we just take the due date and we use the format date formula. And we're going to, um, this time, uh, at the output that we want is, I think it's, oops, how many M's? Let's see, not one, not two, not three, four, four M's to get this. Uh, uh, also, uh, all the formulas, if you uh, need them and can't get them from the screen, uh, I linked a blog post uh, uh, down below uh, for this uh, tutorial, and there all the formulas uh, are for you to copy paste directly in, you, uh, in your workspace as well as uh, the template itself. So if you just want to get a template uh, without building it yourself, uh, you can just grab it. Okay, so uh, now we have uh, the month and now we're going to add another one. Uh, this one will be um, this year. And checking just again that uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, the due date is in the current year. So we're going to take the format date uh, now, and we're going to format this as the year, and we check whether this is equal to format date uh, of due date, if it is format in exactly the same way. And again, just like to show you that this actually works, let's go to a different year, and you can see it's no longer this year. And now we can go in here and, uh, well, we, have, we don't have July here, so <laughs> let's uh, add a few tasks to, uh, let's say, April. Uh, da -da -da -da. This is April and uh, this is April. So let's go in here, create our link view of the minimal task manager, new view, list, no database title, done. And then uh, uh, we're going to set our filter for done is unchecked 
and month contains April and this year is checked. So now you have a complete year view if you want where uh, you can plan out everything and yeah see it despite Notion not offering that functionality yet officially. Okay so uh, with the tutorial out of the way, just a quick look at how a task template could look like if you build it. This is the free template that you can download in the description below. So um, at the very top, we have a today view, and this one uh, just simply uses uh, the due date uh, is today, so the build and filter by Notion, nothing complicated needed here, and this will show you everything that you need to do today. And you have like two um, quick capture uh, fields where you can simply ask, uh, add a task for today or a task for tomorrow. So if you click on here, it will already uh, pre-fill um, the due date for today. Of course, you can change it here if it's not actually for today, but let's say just um, film this YouTube video. Perfect. Uh, here it pops up and because today is Monday, uh, it also appears in my week view. So uh, the YouTube video is here. Tomorrow I need to do task E apparently and on Friday task G and uh, Thursday task F. Looks like a busy week. Um, at this point, uh, one uh, caveat that I need to point out with this method is unfortunately that it doesn't support drag and drop. So I can drag things in between these, um, but uh, as you can see, uh, it doesn't actually stay there. And that's because um, usually if you have um, a filter in Notion, uh, right, like here for example, where you say, okay, um, the due date is today, and then you create something new or you, you drag something uh, in that um, database, the Notion will automatically populate um, all the properties uh, this way. So um, that's why I could just take this uh, from today film YouTube video and drag it into the task for tomorrow. And now uh, it should actually um, show up uh, tomorrow. I'm not sure why it became untitled. It should still be a film YouTube video. Uh, but either way, like uh, if we, let's see whether that works with task E or that this is a weird bug. Ah, yeah, the task E now uh, shows up there. I think it's just because like this one, ah, yeah, it's uh, it's also set for no name, so that's why it removes the name. Okay, either way, um, so usually it works like this, uh, and if you have it today, then it's uh, today. Um, but the problem is Notion can't seem to uh, uh, figure out which uh, uh, what it needs to fill in for these filters to be true. So even though like it's a very specific date <laughs> that it should fill in, if it's this week and if it's uh, this day, uh, it can't do so, so it can't automatically populate stuff if you filter based on formulas. So you won't have drag and drop functionality here. Um, down below you see the month, uh, so that's the standard one from Notion. And here, as you can see, you can obviously do the drag and drop uh, as usual. Um, then we have a year view with uh, our complete uh, year. Uh, and uh, everything here is in July. And again, uh, no drag and drop, unfortunately. Um, but still, I think uh, the functionality is, is worth it and still a good start. And then at the very bottom, you have um, a planner to um, see all your tasks where you didn't put in a due date, um, all your open tasks, all tasks that you've ever done, uh, and any um, old tasks. So these are the ones that you haven't touched in a month um, and might want to check in whether they are still relevant. So yeah, that's it for this uh, simple task manager uh, in Notion. Again, very, very simple, no additional fluff, no, no tags, no nothing, no projects. But if you just look for a super simple and clean way to get your to-do list into Notion, I think this is a great start. And if you're looking for a more complex version, I have another link for you in the description below. Hope you enjoyed. All right, that was how you can use Notion formulas to build yourself exactly the type of views for your calendar that you need. Again, you can download this template for free with a link in the description. There's also a more complex version of a task manager there, plus a few more super cool Notion workarounds. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will answer every single one of them. Also, if you're missing a feature in Notion, please let me know. Uh, I will try to find a solution. And if I do, uh, I will post a dedicated video and uh, yeah, uh, explain how I got there. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, it would really, really help me out if you could give it a like and thumbs up. And as always, if you want to learn more awesome Notion tricks, get regular free Notion templates, and are looking for ways to streamline your workflow, then you should definitely follow this channel. See you in the next one.